All right, here it is, the card I have wanted since I was a kid. I just didn't know it. In a fantabulous 4.5. Well, there it was. I decided to show it at the beginning and I'll show it at the end as well. A card that I've wanted since I was a kid, I just didn't realize uh, that I wanted it. And so here I was at the National, kind of giving you a little view of our backyard here. So here I was, we'll just go around. <laughs> here I was at the National, and I saw this uh, gorgeous 1972 Topps uh, Julia Serving rookie card. And uh, the dealer had two of them. There was one in a, in a Fantastic Four and uh, one in a Fantabulous 4.5. And they were both really nice. But I thought that the 4.5 just blew me away. Uh, but that's not a card that I was looking for. Now, when I was a kid, I remember we would play basketball in someone's drive my, driveway, my driveway, somebody else's driveway. And uh, we would always pretend like we were Dr. J just because, you know, we knew he was... The coolest player, the best player at the time. And uh, I've seen that card over the years, maybe at card shows, whatever. And I think it's just a card that I've always wanted to own, but I've never went after. Um, I do have quite a uh, star basketball from 1983 to 1986. One of the players I collect is Dr. J, so I've got most of his. I'm almost complete on his star cards. So I've got some really nice star cards, but that's all I had for Dr. J. And so uh, I saw that rookie and the dealer wanted $400 on the 4.5. So I took note of the booth number and uh, it was the next day or yeah, the next day, I believe. The thing just kept calling to me, kept calling to me. So I went back to that 4.5 and uh, that he wanted $400 for. And I said, hey, would you take 350? And uh, he thought about it a little bit and he said, well, I'll take 360. So I'm like done. So I got that for 360, which I think ended up being, I didn't even, <laughs> you know, uh, I often check comps. Sometimes I just go with my gut, which I guess I could get burned. But, uh, you know, I think the strategy I use is I, some of the things at the dealer's table, if, uh, if I know the pricing on those items and it seems like the pricing's fair, then I feel like, you know, I'm pretty, pretty safe. And my gut told me such a nice looking card that, that I couldn't be, you know, I didn't think I was crazy overpaying. Although again, maybe I'll get burned on that at some point. But uh, anyway, so I picked that bad boy up and uh, I am super stoked to have it. So sometimes, you know, there's a card that, that you want, maybe even a card that you've wanted for a long time, maybe even... You know, in, in this case, maybe even for like 50 years, like a half century, which is crazy. But I just never really uh, realized it until I saw that fantabulous 4.5 and it just grabbed me. And the only reason I didn't, you know, buy it on the spot was that uh, it was the Wednesday night of the National. And uh, I, I picked it up either on Thursday or Friday. But it was, was Wednesday night and I didn't want to, you know, go spending right off the bat, especially since since I didn't know, you know, uh, if I was going to make a much bigger purchase and what that would be and how much money that would leave. So I just wanted to wait, but super stoked I got it. And then when I ended up back at that table later on, uh, the four was gone as well. So someone must have picked up the four. All right, everybody. Thank you for sharing in my joy. I hope you had a wonderful and peaceful time in the Vintage Sanctuary. However, I'm actually going to go go now and uh, show you the card again at the end and then we'll close this one out so thanks everyone i hope your life and your collecting uh is going really well 
So take care, my hobby brothers and sisters. This seems like a nice way to go, showing the card at the beginning and the end. little card meditation here for those of you who need therapy but cannot afford it. <laughs> that's Maybe that's most of us. We all need therapy. We just either can or cannot afford it or don't have it as part of our, our uh, health care plan. All right, I guess I already had sort of an outro, but what the heck, I'll do another one. I mean, is this a 70s card or what? Is that cool or what? I mean, that is one sweet card. Thanks again, everyone, for sharing in my joy. I hope you had a wonderful and peaceful time in the Vintage Sanctuary. Sanctuary, blah. In the Vintage Sanctuary. Take care, my friends.